Hello, my super kids. Welcome to your quantitative class with Mr. Higgin. In this class, we are going to be looking at exercise 25. It has session A. All right. It has a session B, which deals with codes. All right. It has a session C also, just like this session A, very similar. And finally, session D, which uses an imaginary number. So, let's go back to Session A. Now, in Session A, there is a triangle. In this triangle, you have a 10 inside the box and other numbers around it. Now, for example, if we wish to get 10 using 2, 3, and 4, then we must go to the board. We multiply the numbers are the sides 2 times 3 that gives us a 6 and then we add the result to the number at the bottom that is 6 plus 4 all right so that gives us a 10 so that is how you get the 10 at the middle all right so now let's take another one from the triangle say for example we wish to find the number 4 using 2, 3, and 10. 2, 3, and 10. To find the number 4. Again, we are going to try to remember that the 2 and the 3 has to be multiplied first. Alright? So we have 2 times 3, that gives us a 6. Now, this result has to be subtracted so that is to say 6 is subtracted from 10 and that gives us a 4 all right so that is how you get the 4 now once again let's look at another number on this section for example we wish to get the 3 using the 2 10 and 4 all right so this because the 3 is missing we must start with subtraction all right so we start with the 10 and the 4 so we start with subtracting 4 from 10 so 10 take away 4 that will give us a 6 6 all right now once we are done subtracting the next thing is to divide which is the opposite of multiplication. So we divide 6, the result, by the 2 on the other side. So that will definitely give us a 3. That is how you get the 3. Alright. Now, there is still one more number to get in this section. That is the 2. The 2. Making use of 3, 10, and 4. 3, 10, and 4. Now, Again, we are going to try to subtract the number at the bottom from the number at the middle. That gives us a 6. That is 10 minus 4, 6. Then divide the result once again by the given 3. And so you have 6 divided by 3 equal to 2. That is why the answer there is 2. Alright, now let's go to section B. In section B, we are going to be using codes. For example, the word Microsoft is represented by this code in red. All right. So you have the code. Each of the numbers stands for a letter in the word. We can use this to what form other words when giving the code or get a code for any given word. First thing we do is to match the letters with the corresponding numbers all right so as you can see on the screen each of those letters has a corresponding number so once we are done with this we can start answering the questions in this first question we have the word room room 
So it starts with the letter R. So we try to find the number that represents R. If you check, that's a 3. Alright? It's a 3. So we write down 3. The next letter there is an O. And it's a 2. Alright? So we put down a 2. Because there's a 2 O's there. So we are going to put 2, 2. So 3, 2, 2. Then M is the last letter there. So 6, as you can see, is the number that represents M. Which is 6. 6 represents M. So we we'll go straight to the other side and put a 6. So the code is 3226. Now let's look at the second example. This time we have to find the word from the code. Alright, given the code, we we'll go straight to the board and match each number with a letter. Alright, so now let's do that. First, we have a C from the number 5. Alright, then again, a 2 matches O. So we have an O. Then we have a 4. The 4 matches an X. And so we have S also. Alright. The next number is 1. And so when you check, 1 will give us a T. T. So we have a T. Alright. Then the next one is a 2. We are used to that already. That is an O. An O. So we have O after the T. Then finally, we have a 6. So when we'll we go to the board, we check. And so we have an M. So that means the word is custom. All right. Now let's check the session C and see what we have there. I told you it's similar to session A. So we try to multiply the bottom this time and then add it to the top to get the middle. So if we wish to get the number 9, making use of the number at the edges, well, we are going to multiply one by one and that will give us 1. Then we add the result to the number at the top, which is an 8, and so that gives us 9. Okay, very similar to the one in session A. So that's how you get the 9. Alright, so now let's go back. If we wish to get the 8, using the 1, 1 and 9. Alright, the two ones are the bottom. The first thing to do is to start by multiplying the ones. Alright. So 1 times 1 will give us a 1. Alright. Then once we are done with that, we have to subtract the result from the number at the middle. That is 9 minus 1 and that gives us an 8. So that is how we get the 8. For example, if we wish to get the 1. Alright. We just need to make use of the 8, the 9 and the other 1. Alright. So, now let's get to the board. First, we subtract 8 from the 9, and that gives us a 1. So, this result is divided by the other 1 given. So, we have 1 divided by 1. The answer is 1. So, that is how you get 1. So, the same method is applicable to the other side. Alright. Now, let's look at section D. The final section there is an imaginary number in this section all right and this imaginary number is one okay so in using this one it could be adding or subtracting depending on what we are trying to find okay so first of all if we wish to get the four the first thing to do is to divide the 6 by the 2. Alright. So we have 6 divided by 2. That gives us a 3. Then 3 plus the imaginary 1. 
I'm sure you know what I mean imaginary one all right so we get a 4 that is how you get this 4 so if we wish to get the 2 at the middle so the first thing will be to subtract the imaginary number so we have 4 minus 1 and that will give us a 3 yes a 3 now once we get the 3 we use the 3 to divide the 6 so when you divide the 6 by 3 you get a 2 to get this 6 which is the last thing we are going to do now again we try to subtract the imaginary one and once we do that we are going to get a 3 now this result the 3 is therefore multiplied by the other two given all right so we get a 6 so that is how we get the 6 all right so that brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next class bye